Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners on how to enter a bill the right way. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And so in this video, I want to show you how to enter a bill the right way in QuickBooks. And I see this done incorrectly all the time. And what happens is uh, people do one of two things. One, they either don't even enter the bill and they just kind of keep track of their bills, like maybe in a folder or something, then they go and pay them. Um, or when they do enter it, they enter it incorrectly. So there's two things here I want to uh, want to emphasize. Uh, the first thing is you really want to enter your bills and then pay bills through QuickBooks. This is important because it puts the expenses for these bills in the right time period. So for example, uh, let's say that you get a bill uh, that is for November and you end up paying it in December. Well, if you just enter the bill as paid in December with a December date, it shows up as an expense in December. Now, if you enter it as a bill in November and then go and pay it in December on an accrual basis, it will show as an expense in November. Now, this is important, you know, when you're running your business and you're looking at your monthly uh, financial statements, let's say it's your profit and loss and you wanna see how much money you made uh, or lost in November, well, you know, if you enter the bill correctly and you pull up the report on this accrual basis, uh, then it will show correctly. You'll be able to see the actual expenses for November. If you don't, uh, then it's going to throw things off and it'll put the expense in December. So it can really kind of skew those financial statements on a monthly basis. And, you know, we talk to our clients all the time about, uh, you know, what the financial statements mean. We really like to educate them and we like to track profitability uh, so that they can make better business decisions. And so that's where you want to get to that point is to uh, doing it this way helps you make better business decisions. So let me jump into it here. Okay. So there's a couple things here. First, you can, when you go to enter a bill, let's say you get the bill, you know, electronically through the mail, whatever the case may be. Um, you can click right here. You can say enter bills, or you can go up to this drop down menu up here and you say vendors enter bills. Okay, so we'll click there and it brings up a form. This is called a form in QuickBooks. It's very simple, okay, uh, very self explanatory. So first, we're going to enter the vendor. Okay, so let's say that we got a bill from Bayshore Water. All right, it's, it's gonna populate everything if this is already put in here as a vendor. Now, this is the important piece right here. It's going to default to today's date. But if this water bill was for November and the date of the bill, generally you wanna look at the date of the bill, okay? If it was, let's say November 30th, then we wanna make sure we put in November 30th. That way it captures that utility bill for November, which is the correct time period. Okay, now another important thing you want to do is you want to put in the bill number, okay, or, or invoice number or, you know, whatever. A lot of times utility bills don't have invoice numbers, um, but most uh, vendor bills are going to have invoice numbers. Now, let me put this in here. This is important because this will help you track if you enter duplicate bills. Okay, so let's say that we get another bill from Bayshore Water. Uh, and it's just kind of a duplicate bill. It got sent twice on accident. Well, if you put in this bill number of 56487, QuickBooks will alert you and say, hey, you've already entered this. Is this a duplicate? You know, do you really want to enter this? Okay, so it's kind of a, a safety net to make sure that you're not paying bills twice. So you want to make sure that you enter that reference number, which is your invoice number. All right. Now we're going to put in the amount. We'll say $58.47. And then you're going to put in the due date of the bill. All right. Now this will calculate automatically based on the vendor setup, what terms you have in here. But if it's different than that 30, okay, then you just put in the due date, whatever's on the due date. And then of course you can put in a memo. So uh, you could put an account number, um, you know, you can put whatever you want to here. And then of course you want to put in the account. Now this account we're going to say is utilities. Let's see if it's right there. And let's see if we have a sub account for water. There we go. So this is a water bill, 5847. If you need another memo, you can of course do that. And if you're gonna bill this to a customer, you're gonna associate it with the customer here, click billable, and then you can assign it to a class. Okay, so the very important things are that date and that reference number. All right, so then we're going to hit save and close. And then just as a quick side note, if we go over to pay bills, all right, we will see Bayshore Water right here. Here's the bill we just entered, $58.47. All right, 
and we'll go through that in another video on how to pay bills. So those are the basics of how to enter bills the right way in QuickBooks 2021. If you have any questions whatsoever, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Uh, also head over to the QuickBooks University. The website over there is qbuniversity.org.